Coming in just high, or just shy of the 5,700 pound mark, depending on the options that are equipped on her. The 242 BHS J Flight here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan lands nicely, solidly, comfortably in the realm of half ton towability, or frankly, even larger class SUVs should be able to handle this one. Uh, you know, safely. Uh, take a look with our floor plan in a flash. You'll see that well, I don't care, guys, whether you're looking to upgrade from a no slide bunkhouse, if you're getting rid of the old family tent, or if this is going to be your first camper. This one brings a lot to the table. It's a model that I would personally be happy to be in. I tend to camp in a no slide J flight most of the time myself, so this really speaks to me. The extra space of that big U dinette slide that I don't have in the camper I tend to use. I think makes all the difference. It has a uh, great camp kitchen that I don't usually get in the kind of camper that I used to, and it's wrapped all up in that best-in-class Jayco shell, things like best-in-class warranty, best-in-class roof construction, best-in-class Goodyear tires at 87 miles an hour that nobody else is doing. There's a lot of good here. There's a lot of good here. And there's just, just a whole host of little things about this that I love, things that really speak to me as an RVer. Like the radiant barrier through the slide floor. That's the kind of thing that a lot of campers just don't do for uh, keeping your you know temperatures a little more even. Love that giant window. The blackout kind of shades that you can pull there if you're so inclined. And that little household power outlet up there where you can actually get to it instead of being way under the dinette where you got to be a contortionist. <laughs> no thanks. I don't know if you've seen me lately. I'm not exactly slim in the midsection. I don't feel like doing some twist em up kind of storage yoga. No thank you. Um, <laughs> J flights are a six foot nine ceiling. Also, you can see that they're doing centralized air conditioning. That's a boring thing to talk about. It's a big deal though. A lot of campers in this class don't do that. Now, like uh, a Wildwood at Haylet RV. They standard have no central air, but you will see that we centralize the air on those like every single time, basically, because it, it helps keep the camper far more uh, evenly cool, especially when you got like, you got a private corner bathroom, you got a private bedroom up front here, you folks haven't really had a good chance to see yet. Those things, man, they make a difference. Kind of like the pocket screwed cabinetry. You only get that uh, maybe half the time if you're lucky in this class, like Catalina does it as well, but a lot of brands are doing staples. Now the difference there, is really how much peace of mind are you looking for? Pocket screwed cabinetry in theory holds together better. In practice, I don't know that it really matters, but I'm gonna point it out and I'm gonna let you make that decision because it's your money on the line, not mine. I'm just gonna do the job of making sure you know the difference. Now we're gonna do like a 360 of storage here. Remember all pocket screwed hardwood cabinet door frames. The countertops are a sealed edge pressed membrane to help keep that water from soaking in. And down below here, notice plywood drawers, not particle board with a sticker wrap, which you find a lot of, um, I call them kind of uh, pretender luxury ultralights out there with uh, particle board sticker wrapped cabinet drawers. You gotta really watch the details. Like I love that they're giving us a place here for a wastebasket. Little, smart details like that make a huge, huge difference overall. Clutter cut and shoe garage. That's an Uncle Joshy RV nerd favorite right there. And a little bit of pantry tame at storage. We'll talk a little bit more about, you know, like TV hookups in just a moment. I wanted you to get to see that unlike almost everybody else in this class and category and price point, they are giving us doors to access the bench storage so you don't have to rip apart the whole dinette to get to it every single time. And then over here, Kind of acting as a little bit of a pantry. You could put up a hanging rod. You could turn it into a closet. A little bit of, uh, I mean, really kind of any space, every space you want. Between the kitchen, the bath, the bunks, and the living room. It's centrally located, so it can perform, you know, a variety of different functions. It's all just kind of how you really want to put it together. Now you may notice how Jayco doesn't use heat vents in the floor of an SLX. Instead you see that circular heat vent under those drawers. You do sacrifice a little bit of storage with uh, cabinet ducted heating like this. You sacrifice a little bit of effectiveness, but this is not intended as a four seasons camper. It's gonna be a good extended season rig, but the lack of uh, floor vents means it's also a little bit easier to keep clean for your family, which I think a lot of people appreciate. Uh, over here, we're looking at the optional 12 volt DC compressor fridge, which is giving us more storage capacity and it cools faster. 
uh, <laughs> like about four times faster. It's pretty awesome. And look at this little detail. Easy to miss. Again, I've, I've mentioned 100 easy to miss things. Like you have separate upper and lower curtains. You also have thicker bunk mattresses here. Each bunk has its own light. Um, and the way that they do this is a little interesting to me. Let me know, what do you guys think of this? They put USB plugs here, and then they put household outlets down there. Now, it's weird that they're kind of splitting the difference like that, but I think for the most part, USB plugs is what you need, and I could easily put a household to USB adapter on that, so I don't know that it really matters. It just, eh, it's funny. A couple more best-in-class qualities. We've got double thickness mattresses. We've got plywood bed deck basing here that... A lot of brands just don't do. There's a bunch of that little stuff that goes into your Jayco's. You've got foot flush stool here with pretty decent leg room if you take note. I fit in that pretty well, even with my big old boots here. The sink is adult sized. I can get my hands in there. And this shower. Not only is this camper taller, and uh, you can see that by the way that I'm able to stand in here. Absolutely no sweat. My head does not need to be in the skylight of a J flight, which is something I appreciate. But the fact that the skylight is standard, the shower surround paneling is standard, that's not always found in this class and at this price point. And look at the size of this. Be, I, I mean, if you got to get in here, if you have to hose off a labradoodle, you're, you're going to be able to do it. Just, I don't know, maybe put something down so their hair doesn't go down that drain. Although, labradoodle, they probably wouldn't shed a lot, would they? Hmm. Now, as we work our way out of the bathroom here, one of my favorite features on this floor plan, and I know it's going to be one of yours too, privacy doors, not curtains, because nobody likes putting on a, a little burlesque silhouette show for the kids, now do they? No, sir. <laughs> Note to all the lighting. They're using more lights per square foot here than pretty much anybody else in this class. Lights and windows are very expensive in the RV industry. So using more lights, like two lights in the slide, not just one. Look at that stuff. That is hard stuff for a shopper to pick up because you don't tend to be looking at an RV with the lights on at a dealership. That giant dinette down there, that can fold down into a huge sleeping space, which is very, very nice. And this is not really an entertainment-focused floor plan. This is more a camper for people like me. Like, when I get to my destination, I don't bring a TV camping. Uh, not, not at all. Instead, what I like to do is uh, I just go, okay, well, um, go outside, listen to the radio, play in the dirt, have some fun. That's what we do when we go camping. But if you really do want to, you've got space here, you could mount a TV. Jayco does go ahead and run the HDMI wiring for you, which is lovely. And their Bluetooth stereo is still DVD, which a lot of people are not doing. By people, I mean RV manufacturers. Now, this RV has a uh, little TV mount up here in the bedroom. You'll see the same key block style mount in the uh, exterior of the camper as well. Now the bracket that mounts onto that, that the TV would mount to, is included. So you don't gotta try to go on Amazon and figure out the stuff you need. And note too, this little sticker right here. All J flights, now all J flights, are roof solar prepped standard. You'd actually find the plug just above us if we were outside right now. This is also going to be a really great model if you're a little bit claustrophobic because they leave the side stands on either side of the bed wide, wide open. I like the dual big breeze through windows. They let you get that airflow going. They let you keep an eye on the kids. And if you're not in love with the Labatt blue light, no big deal. You can turn it off. Nothing says you got to use it. And another thing here that's just really great is that even with the slide closed, you can get through the whole thing. It's just like that plate of food at the restaurant that's just way too much. You know, it's, it's way too big. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but I can get through it. <laughs> now, you could argue that the left-hand doors on the upper and lower pantry tainment centers could not be accessed, but considering they're pass-through compartments, they're not blocked off. I just don't see that as being too much of an issue. We can very easily walk right through here. And I've got the table down in travel position. I don't know if you noticed that. That's not something I think I demonstrate enough. That's how you should be traveling with those dinette tables. So if you appreciate little tips like that, definitely hit subscribe and follow along to us. So bunks, bathroom, Eva stuff. We can get to Eva stuff with the slide out closed. So once again, we find ourselves in that really ideal uh, weight and size category for something like a half-ton pickup. But again, a lot of those larger class tow package SUVs would handle this one no sweat. So you don't necessarily need to give up the daily family hauler to get some kind of specialty towing truck just to go camping. That's what's really cool about this size and category here. There's also a hundred little 
differences that go into Jayco's. They use things like plywood roof decking. They have things like a thicker header beam above their slide outs. You see the uh, uh, tinted windows. I can't, I can't talk, apparently. They got the tinted windows here to keep the sunshine out. They also do different things with their frames. They have a custom engineered chassis where the A-frame actually totally integrates into the, the full like chassis beams. And what that does is it actually allows them to have a uh, taller interior without a taller exterior. Bob Vila would be proud. Now, that power tongue jack, a lot of campers in this class have finally started doing that. Not all of them, though. But uh, they include like the little kind of quick extension foot pad on it, so you don't have to constantly be cranking that thing up and down and getting a wicked case of like tennis elbow with that thing. I ain't no John McEnroe. Or like John McEnroe, no, he didn't. Did that work? I didn't feel like it worked, did it? I'll work that out of my own time. Regardless, moving on. Black tank flush and outside utility shower. There's a pair of things you just don't usually find in this class. In a, uh, a smarter class, basic but smart feature camper, a lot of times that is that kind of uh, you know dollar stuff that a brand will peel out because many people shopping in RV don't bother taking a walk on the driver's side of the camper. They tend to look at the nose, they look around the door, and then they step inside. And I like to give you a deeper look than that. I hope you appreciate that. I know my videos run long, but I, I feel like if you're serious about doing this, you're going to appreciate the extra information. Sort of like the J-Smart safety lighting package. You see how at the top corners there's those double clearance lights? Well, when you shift on, say, your uh, right-hand turn signal, those extra lights and all of the lights on this side of the RV are going to blink along with that signal to give everybody else on the road a better, clearer understanding of what you're doing. Something else I like to talk about on these as well is the fact that they have a gas and electric and auto ignition and fast recharge water heater that some in this class do. Uh, like Cherokee's good about it, but not everybody. And that's that Jayco difference. They do so many things you just can't see, ladies and gentlemen. Like for instance, on this one, I've enclosed the underbelly. Well, that's not a standard feature, but that's something that we like to do for you for some extra protection here at Halid RV, especially when you wake up to funny flurries like this the weatherman hadn't predicted. And this is one of the reasons I really love this one compared to like the 264 BHJ flight here at Halid RV, which is what I tend to camp in most of the time. That's a great camper, but uh, this one's a little bit shorter. You're not really saving a whole lot of weight because of the slide, but I'm gaining a camp kitchen. I'm gaining an outside fridge. I'm gaining an outside sink so that we can do things like wash our hands, do some basic quick cleanups, and have some drinks outside uh, so that you don't got to go tromping through the whole camper the whole time. You've got pretty comparable patio awning spaces. You've got LED lights, obviously, under the awning. You've obviously, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how obvious that is. You uh, also have speakers in the awning heads up there. Now, just like this, when you're going to be outside, which is usually when the patio is open, the speakers point down toward your campsite. You're not blowing away the neighbors. That makes sense to me. Um, I love the uh, best-in-class Goodyear Endurance radials that Jayco's ride down over here. Now, they're rated for 87 miles per hour. Don't go 87 miles per hour. Okay, that's <coughs> not safe. That's not smart. But one of the other things I like here is that, God forbid, for any reason, you get a flat tire. You've got a galvanized steel wheel well up here. Now, I'm not going to tell you that is going to prevent any and all potential damage ever from a flat tire, but it's going to help tremendously. Outside TV hookups. Now, I've upgraded this one right here to the stable steps, as you can see. And these are the new quick set, uh, like quick extension, easy lock in place kind of legs. Uh, the uh, entry door has its own larger handle right there. And again, all the windows are tinted, and again, we can't talk about a Jayco without talking about their best-in-class 2 plus 3-year warranty. It's one of the things that kind of attracted me to Jayco initially. I kind of thought to myself, you know, if they're able to offer double, triple the uh, warranty, guarantee, and insurance of anybody else, uh, I'm sorry, I think I said insurance, assurance of anyone else, it's got to mean something, right? <laughs> now, that little... Uh, sticker kind of flaking off the front there. That's actually just the VIN tag that the RV delivery drivers use. Those are designed to come off easily so that they don't leave a ugly lasting mark on your RV after it gets delivered here to Halo RV. So I thought maybe I'd fire up that grill, try out some global warming. I don't know. I don't think that's how it works though. But uh, more to the point, thank you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and hanging out with us here. I know I'm kind of a goofball. I know I talk a lot. 
and I really appreciate you tuning in because I sure put a lot of effort into these videos. As you can see, it's even the snowflakes flying don't slow us down at Haylet RV. And if you want a place that works like that for you, then all you need to do is give us a call. Remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else. So whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, or anything in between, let us know what we can do for you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.